Hello, YouTube. No, oh, sorry. Hello, YouTube, and welcome back to Space Engineers, where we're still working through the beginner's guide. This is episode six. Subscribe to find the previous episodes easily. A couple of episodes ago, we built this tiny little miner, and it has served us well. But it does need a little modification to make it more useful. We need to be able to get the ores from the drill to the connector so that they can be passed to the refinery when we connect up to the base. So we're going to do that today. But that's not all. Oh no. We're also going to be building this. Yes. <laughs> this is the Mining Master 3000, a hybrid atmospheric and hydrogen driven dual tooled mining ship that is capable of getting into space and back. Yes, space. In previous episodes, I've held your hand through menus and using the build planner, but not this time. I'm going to get on and build the ship and I'll explain what I'm doing when necessary. Let's have a look at this beauty. There we can see we've got atmospheric and hydrogen thrusters. Look how sexy that back end is. Okay, let's get started with the hunk of junk. What a letdown. <laughs> Let's start by clearing a path for the conveyors to run from the drill to the connector. We're going to need a conveyor and we want the small conveyor this time. Put an L bracket there, another one there. Now that's in red because I've got the battery on recharge. Now you might be wondering why I'm bothering making this when we're going to build a better one, but I think it's useful for you to see how we just pipe these two things together. And plus, we're going to be using this while we get the resources to build the other one. So on the control panel, if I click the thrusters, we can see these two are missing, so I'm going to control on those and say save. Now that's added them. Turn them all on and off. And we'll just have a quick look. And the thruster is indeed off. So now whatever we collect with the drill will be transferred through this to the connector, which will then come through the system into the refinery. And that's that done. So let's move this out of the way. And we'll get started with the new ship. Let's start with the landing gear. The next I'm going to place a cargo container, a medium cargo container on top of that. Now because we're delving into space travel and also hydrogen engines, we're going to need an O2 H2 generator and there is a small version for small grid ships. Pop one on there. Now one isn't quite enough to be able to fuel our tanks quick enough and run the thrusters so I'm actually going to put two on. Now we're going to need a cockpit so we're safe going into space. We have access to oxygen and also it looks cool. But if you have a look at the cockpit, you can see there's a large connector on the bottom, a little one on the front and two little ones on the back. Now those two little on the back line up perfectly with the O2, the H2O2 generator. Unlike with atmospheric thrusters where you can just plonk them on the sides, with hydrogen thrusters you need to have them all plumbed together so the O2 H2 generator can pass through the hydrogen into the actual thrusters. So we're going to need to use some of these little conveyors. Now rather than using the, the conveyors that we used on the mining ship, which was like the tubes, I'm just going to go straight for the conveyor junctions, the small junctions, because then it means we can slap on thrusters wherever we want.
because we have the progression system turned on, I'm not allowed at the minute to make hydrogen engines. First of all, we need to make an O2 or a hydrogen tank on the base. Now that's not a bad thing. We'll make a we'll make a hydrogen tank so we can store some hydrogen here so we can refuel our ship a little bit quicker later. Let's quickly do that now. Tank. And it's going to be a small hydrogen tank. Going to want hydrogen thruster. We're also going to want the atmospheric thrusters. Now, just in case you're wondering, the drill radius around one of these drills is larger than the actual drill by quite a way, so it won't be a problem for the ship to get through. It's not like we're going to drill two small holes uh, and then get stuck. All right, so to find the hydrogen thrusters, if we just type in hydro, and there they are, drop point at number five, and we want the two sideways thrusts. We want a forward thrust, a braking thrust, and because we're in space, we're going to need a downward thrust because we can't use gravity. I'm going to put another braking thrust there and there. Then we need some upward thrust, so let's get a one there, and there, and squeeze another one in just here. Let's just start draining again. Remember last episode I showed you the admin controls. I'm going to use those again here, so it was Alt and F10. And instead we played with the time of day last time. In fact, let's do that again. Let's get the time of day back somewhere comfortable there we go so we can see what we're doing but also if you click on this button here there's other options don't play with those yet because they can make a mess remove weather there we go as simple as that remove weather ding now we want a couple of small hydrogen tanks on the ship just to store that little bit of extra hydrogen for us so that's the small hydrogen tank that's the large one you can see it's got a little connector at that end and another one at the other side And put one there and one on here so there we have hydrogen thrust in all directions but now i'm going to back that up for atmosphere flying just for the weight of the ship with a couple of the atmospheric thrusters and about two at either side and this will just reduce the, the amount of hydrogen we use while we're hovering on the earth-like planet I've said already that these atmospheric thrusters are only useful in the atmosphere, as the name suggests. But we can use primarily these to get us hmm, halfway up to space. And once we start to lose the atmosphere, um, we switch over to the hydrogen thrusters. Um, so we can save our hydrogen until we're up a good way already. So now we've got thrust in all directions, we're going to need some power. So I'm going to slap a big battery down on the top. Then we want an ore detector and a gyroscope. Now, if you find that your ship is turning too slowly when you use the mouse, you can add another gyroscope. The more gyroscopes you have, the faster it turns. Now, this time I'm going to remember to put some lights on. There we go. Now the last thing to add here is a connector on the bottom so we can charge up and transfer ores and what have you but it's going to go right under the cockpit and even if I crouch it's hard to get under under there so 
here's a little thing you can do if you let's change to that if you switch on your jetpack use Q and E rotate upside down you can get your head right down to the floor and there we go drop it in all we need now is some ice and we can get the hydrogen thrusters working and we can get off the ground and have a fly around I can access the inventory of the ship through the port on the side of the connector here. So if I go in through F, I can go to the O2 generators and I want to share 5,000 ice between the two O2 generators. So if I do a right drag, it'll ask me how much I want to share. So 2,500 and the rest in that one. And that will get on filling up these two little hydrogen tanks. Now I'm going to jump in the cockpit and I'm going to configure the hotbar for the ship. So if we go into the control panel, I'm going to type in Hydra and I'm going to highlight and group all of the hydrogen thrusters. So these are Hydro Thrust. Save that. Now let's clear that and we'll go to the normal thrusters, the four atmospherics, and we'll group those as Atmo thrust and we'll save that so that's the grouping done now in the G menu I'm going to put my hydrogen thrusters in one to turn them on and off and the Atmos on two to turn those on and off I'm also going to put the connector on nine which is going to switch lock and then I'm going to change to the second hotbar by doing control two and I'm going to drag the block tools of the drills in there. So I don't need to look at them. As long as they're in a hotbar somewhere, they're going to work. Now, while we're on, we might as well put our lights in a group. So if we go back into the control panel, find our lights. Now, in a way, this is... Uh, it's a little bit pointless because if you hit L, it'll turn whatever lights are on the ship. But we might have other lights on there that we don't want to turn on and off or we want to use independently. So back into G, into the groups, there's the lights. And I normally put lights on five. The landing gear is locked. Now it's on automatic lock. I don't like automatic lock. I'd rather be able to switch it. So back in the control panel, landing gear. I'm going to turn off the auto lock. And in the G menu, in all blocks, we'll now put the landing gear in 8, and it's going to be to switch lock. So you can't quite see from here, but it is green at the minute. If I hit 8, it's unlocked it, and spacebar will now bring the ship up. Let's have a closer look. So the minute our hydrogen thrusters are turned off, so we're only using the atmospheric thrusters, so if I tilt the ship forwards, it's just going to start going forwards and it won't stop because I don't have any atmospheric thrusters pointing forwards or backwards or left or right. So for normal use, we're going to have the hydrogen thrusters on. Now it's important to make sure you have at least a two block clearance in front of the burning end, the hot end of your hydrogen thrusters. So if you look here, you can see the one pointing forwards on the top there is two blocks before it hits the drill. The same with, oops, the same with the one underneath. It's two blocks away. So to finish the ship up, let's land it. Let's give it a little paint job. If you hit P, you can see we have a color palette here. Now these are the basic colors you can start with and you can customize those in any way you want. So I'm going to pull up a, a normal block a you know, number uh, number four block a basic building block and I'm going to use that as my reference so we go to the P menu now let's say we want to go for a green I want to make it a little darker and I want to give it a texture I like this battered armor look so I've selected that now I'm going to say OK and to actually paint the ship you just click the middle mouse wheel that only paints the item that you click the button on. If I want to paint more than that, if I hold shift, it'll paint a radius, I think it's of around five. So one being the center, two, three. So it would make five. 
roughly. But if I just do shift and control on anything on here, it paints the whole ship. Now some things can't be painted, or some things don't really show that they're painted. Just to demonstrate that, let's change this to a random colour. Let's make it all yellow in the battered armour, like that. There we go. That looks pretty good as well. Very industrial looking. In fact, I think I'll leave that. Let's take this thing for a test flight, see how it handles. So let's turn the thrusters on. I'm going to put the atmospheric thrusters on as well. Make sure the landing gear is unlocked and take it up for a spin. Now the acceleration's not bad. The rotation's pretty good. Let's see what the stopping power is like. I'll let go now. Yeah, it drifts a little way. It's not bad. Let's try going straight up. Yeah, that's good. We're already at maximum speed. Now, if we just hover here for a second, you can see our hydrogen gauge is going up. Now, that's because we're not thrusting around and using a lot of hydrogen, and it's giving the hydrogen tanks uh, time to be refilled from the two generators. Now I'm also, while I'm up here, I'm going to try, I'm just going to go fairly level. I'm going to turn off the hydrogen engines and just show you that the atmospheric engines will keep us in place. There we go, they're off. If we have a look outside, you can see there's no flames coming from the hydrogen, just the two atmospherics. So it's holding the ship steady. Okay, let's put them back on and we'll go into land. Let's find our base first. There it is. Engine's off. Done. Simple as that. Just threw it down. It's fine. So there we have our new mining ship. I'm quite pleased with that. And next episode, we're going to be taking it to space. Oh yes, we're going to space. Remember to hit like if you've enjoyed the video and remember that it does really help me by letting me know that you are enjoying the videos and that I should do more. I'll see you next time. I've been Tall Man Brad. Goodbye.